It's likely that this question isn't testing what you think it's testing. Let's start with the easier part. We have 6% on 8,000, and if we multiply those together, you could reduce the percent symbol with two zeros, because percent means divided by 100. So we have, instead of 6% times 8,000, 6 times 80. So that's $480 right there. Now the more complicated part is where we have semi-compounding annual interest of 8%. Semi-compounding annual interest just means that you get half of the interest at the six month mark, and then the second six months, you get interest on all of the money that you've had so far. So the principal investment and also the 4% that you already got at the six month mark. So that the 4% that you get at the half year is also gaining interest in the second half of the year. That's all it means. Now, if we think about that conceptually, what it will translate into in the end of the day is a little bit of extra interest because you're not only getting interest on the principal in the second half of the year, you're also getting interest on the interest that you earned in the first half of the year, interest on interest. So that's gonna give you a little bit of extra. Now, since this is the GMAT, we shouldn't have to do any complicated computations. We should be able to just kind of spot the right answer at a glance. So how would we do that? Well, 8% interest on 10,000, if it was just a regular simple annual interest rate that's not being compounded, would be like eight times 100, so $800. Again, I reduced the percent symbol with two zeros. And we already had 480 from the first investment. So 480 plus 800, that's 1280. And I should look for an answer that's a little bit more than that, again, because we're actually compounding the second investment semi-annually. Now, in true GMAT form, when you look at the answer choices, indeed, there's only one answer choice available that's a little bit above 1280, and that's the one we should pick. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.